Hi, so in a previous video I reviewed a commercial .NET obfuscator called a Xeris .NET Reactor. In this video I'm going to be going over a absolutely free obfuscator called Confuser EX. And Confuser X has the same functionality as the commercial de uh, obfuscators out there. So I'm going to demo that with this piece of code here. And if you also, if you're looking for the download, I'll have the link in the description area of my video. So this is the code that I am going to obfuscate, and it's the same code in my other example uh, where I demo .NET Reactor from a series. So this code has a few strings and a certain logic and control flow. So that's the things I want to really obfuscate is, in particular, the control flow and also the strings that I have in my code. So when I compile this, it compiles into a DLL called utilitysecurity.dll. I renamed it to this and I popped it into the Telerik decompiler. And you can see when I decompile it, what I can see or view is basically the same string and control flow as my original code. You, you could see the strings are here. And I really want to hide that. I really don't want that to be exposed to the outside world when I distribute my software. So in order to obfuscate it, I downloaded the Confuser FX. And this is the UI here. And it's pretty straightforward. You put in the DL, you drag and drop the DLL you want to obfuscate here. I have utility EX. Now if I go to the settings, I highlight my, util, my utility DLL. And I am gonna, let me remove this here. So I'm gonna add rules by pushing the add button. And when I highlight the true and push the configuration, you'll see I have configuration presets here. I am gonna put uh, normal here or actually I'm going to do maximum and I'm going to have some choices here anti ildasm and a bunch of other type of examples but I'm just going to do the default here with the presets aggressive normal minimum and I'm going to say done and when I say done after I've configured each one or I could have global settings also I'm just going to simply push the con protect and it it will write the new file to a new location that I specified here. So I spe specified it in the Confuser EX directory. And I've, I've popped in these DLLs into the decompiler and I want to show you the difference. So the Confuser here is the normal setting where it's actually obfuscating the code and control flow. So keep in mind my my code looks like this so so this is my code and after the obfuscation it looks like this now as you can see it is uh, nicely obfuscated I don't see any of my strings nor do I see any of the control flow that is obvious to me now if I do the maximum it actually prevents any type of decompilation so I can't even see anything here but the risk in doing that is if you actually have the purpose of distributing your DLL so that people can use it as a reference the maximum would prevent that from happening because people cannot actually even see the public methods that are exposed so that is the anti ildasm that you see or anti-disassembly that you see here if I have it in the max setting. Now to compare that with the Azeris that I have that, that I uh, ran it through, you'll see Azeris has also a different type of uh, decompilation here and obfuscation. So this is the Azeris obfuscation and going back to the original code being decompiled here you'll see again it looks like this which is very much the same as the original code 
So that's really it. That That is the summary of this free .NET obfuscator called ConfuserFX, and I will have this in the um, description area where you could download. And uh, that's really it. I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.